craving bad habits. We all do it. We all live this crazy life of uh, searching for the best foods and best tasting food and, and when to eat, when not to eat, when to sleep. You know, uh, what nutrition do we need on top of that? Um, what filler foods do we eat and all the toxic and all the binge eating stuff. Anyway, uh, start with number one, water. Um, no matter how old you are, um, if you're an adult or, or uh, elderly, whatever, you should be drinking six to eight glasses of water a day. Um, you enjoy, start enjoying drinking water. Uh, it is so good for you to it just flush everything through your body and, and make everything work um, because most of us are uh, just not eating, an, I'm sorry, it's not drinking enough water or dehydrated at different levels. And that's why, you know, people get gallstones and different things and, and things because we don't drink enough water. Uh, so you have to love water. And if you can get it filtered, it's better filtered, obviously, or distilled or structured. There's, uh, there's ways of a, a filtered, structured. Um, you can talk to me later about that. Uh, there, there's uh, products and different things you can get to have structured water, which is uh, the purest form, not just for your drinking water, for your animals, for your pets, I mean, and, uh, and plants and everything else. There's so many uses to uh, the cleanest water that you want to have, almost like... Uh, you know, that, that waterfall stream, uh, real water, you know, for a mountain uh, stream is, is the best. But anyways, water is so important. We don't drink enough water. Secondly, uh, sleep. Uh, we need to get enough hours in a day or night sleep, depending on what your biorhythm is, your cycle. You might work nights or whatever. You have to, whatever your body feels comfortable with, you need enough hours of rest, your body needs rest. And if you eat uh, a big meal right before you go to bed, guess what, your body's working overtime. Your stomach is working, we're supposed to be relaxing, and your digestive system is not working properly because it's trying to break down the food you just ate an hour or two before. So you have to learn that cycle of, of uh, and you're gonna get a better night's sleep by, by um, Cutting out the food intake uh, a good four to six hours before you sleep and, and drink a, a glass of water before you sleep or half a glass because that, that, that uh, to hydrate yourself uh, while you're sleeping is so good. And it's also preventative of like heart attacks and that. So, and you want no distractions while you're sleeping. Um, and your bedroom should be, you know, I mean, if you have a lot of fans, if you had a, a lot of different noise and different things going on, uh, TV should not be in the bedroom, um, if possible. And that your cell phone should be way far away from from your bed. So shut them off, put them in the kitchen or somewhere else, but not in the room you're sleeping. Uh, you'll get to these people. Uh, you can't be answering the phone while you're sleeping. Uh, e EMF, um, that's like hydro wires, different things outside your bed. Uh, you know, near near uh, anything, you shouldn't have a freezer in your bedroom. You know, and some people I've seen that it's crazy. You know, and outside, make sure you know you're sleeping on the wall where there's not uh, your hydro uh, and uh, and your gas uh, systems are in that. So just look for that type of things in that. But sleep is so important. Food, fresh fruit is the best. Fresh or frozen veggies organic as much as possible salads you know enjoy salads eat start enjoying salads be creative you know you, you could put uh, chicken or fish or shrimp you know you can make a meal out of salads um, learn to to love those salads and 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 probably eat uh, the biggest uh, your biggest meal in the middle of the day you know or, or at lunch and uh, you got to enjoy food that uh, not just tastes good, but it's really good for you. And, and uh, three or four cups of handfuls a day of, of uh, you know, your fruit, veggies, uh, good nuts are really good. You know, uh, not peanuts, but uh, all the other nuts are very healthy for you. And protein, get enough protein. There's so many ways of getting protein. And, uh, and then going into supplements, you need a multivitamin. Today's uh, nutrition through through fruits, vegetables, and everything else, 
you know, uh, we're not even talking about process. We're talking about fruits and vegetables. Uh, this the food does not have what the minerals and vitamins it had uh, 40, 50, 60 years ago, 100 years ago. So you want to get yourself organic supplements because they're the cleanest and uh, you get what you pay for. A cold press on, on when needed. A liquid multivitamin is best. The minerals, not the big hard capsules that, because you, all you're doing is buying uh, supplements that's just going to not break down and you're just – you're going to eliminate them without even going through your system. So you want liquid or soft capsules uh, for multivitamins and minerals. And we're, we're lacking so many minerals today. It's unbelievable. Good fats, you know, your butter, butter, avocados, coconut oil, wherever you can find good fats, not the bad fats in oils, you need good fats. More fat than carbs, you know, and more fat than protein. How's that? It's totally to this this low fat diet stuff in the last 30 years, it's killing us. It, and, and it's all documented. Um, now we're finding out after 20, 30 years, you know, the, the, the clinical studies, we need better good fats and a lot of water and a lot of sleep and the good food, obviously. Um, filler foods, you know, we can't help but we're trying to avoid them as much as possible. Bread, bread's killing people, I'm sorry. There, there's books out there, there's so much stuff on the internet about bread, wheat, uh, wheat belly, you read that book or anything else. Um, and wheat, I mean, uh, everything in moderation. But if you can avoid bread uh, completely, that's amazing. But if, if you need a little bit, fine. But, uh, you know, we're, we're all eating like uh, bread and whey and soy and dairy on every meal, you know, uh, breakfast, toast and bagels. And then, then at lunch, you're having a sandwich. There, there's more bread. And at supper, you're having all kinds of other things, uh, you know, with it that is with bread or, or I'm not saying potatoes are bad, but a little bit, okay? And uh, if you can cut out dairy, dairy is not what it used to be at all. The nutrition is really bad. It's like the dirtiest drink on the planet. You might as well be drinking alcohol. <laughs> I'm telling you, dairy is dirty. Sorry. But uh, it's very, very hard to get raw um, milk. Or, or proper. If you can drink coconut uh, milk or, or or something like that, or or almond milk, that's better. Um, and start using it. It's delicious, actually. Sugar, cut out sugar, is hidden everywhere, especially in bread. How's that? So cut out the sugar as much as possible and processed foods, no good. There's so many toxic things out there. Um, you know, you got to be a good uh, label reader and do that, you know. It only takes a minute or so to read to see what exactly, and, and a lot of the stuff that's out there, processed foods, you know, you can't even understand, and you got to look up, you know, all these uh, uh, crazy words that are, are hidden behind all these toxic uh, foods within it. Uh, that's how they had to make it, and they had to make, you know, um, uh, what you say, in high quality, uh, high quantity of products today. You better believe there's toxins in them. And the binge eating at night, if you can cut that out. Um, do it as much as possible. And, and that's my little sharing today of, of, of health habits versus craving bad habits. And uh, take care. I'm no expert at this, but I just been, I've been learning to do this for myself and my family. And I just want to share um, this so that everyone can be aware of what we're doing to ourselves and our family. And uh, we do want to uh, try and have higher percentage of living longer. And this is why I'm sharing this. Take care.